guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. How's it going? If you're thinking about order reading, now would be a great time. Um, especially now that I finished my book, there's a lot of ideas that seem to be coming out that I never even imagined. Uh, seeing pers different perspectives and yeah, I feel really connected and yeah, so it's a good time to order. I also wanted to mention that um, the prices are going to be the same as last year. They haven't increased. Uh, and if you are a patron, you will also be getting a discount as well as returning readers. So please just let me know uh, if you are, and then I'll figure out the prices because I haven't really factored that in right now. Uh, you will be getting a discount though. Um, what else did I want to say? And thank you guys for supporting me with the book. You guys are making this happen. You guys made the cards happen. You guys made the channel happen. And you guys made the book happen. So what I've learned <laughs> over the past two years is just mind-blowing um, and it's because of you guys and so thank you thank you so much I love you guys so much and enjoy this week's twin flame reading right cheers hey guys what's up Sherry here from no flex given crew all right so this is going to be a twin flame reading for January um, the 18th until the 28th I just wanted to mention that I am free to do private reading, so the email to contact me is below. My website is down right now, um, so yeah, um, I'm free, and uh, yeah, hopefully I get some orders in, otherwise I'm going to have to go back to my regular job as a gen dental hygienist. So I'd rather spend some more time with you guys, since I did take a long break, it's nice to be back into the zone again. All right, so we're going to do yin-yang reading. Um, so <clears throat> I have, um, call it Baron Reed, good tarot here. So we'll use this for how you feel about yourself. Um, I have another call it Baron Reed. So this is Wisdom of the Oracle. So this will be how you feel about Hmm. You know, let's make this for the soul. Okay. Um, we'll use Fairy by Lenormand for your fears. Okay, and... I feel like using some of these smaller cards here. So let's use um, Tarot Illuminati, I think it's called. Yeah, Tarot Illuminati by Kim Higgins and Eric Dune. I used to love reading from that book, actually. Um, they're quite long passages, so maybe I might choose. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so um, this will be the overall energy. Okay, and then we have the Gilded Tarot. Uh, this is a Rider Waite deck, Gilded Rider Waite. So this will be what you want I haven't looked at the astrology at all but there's been some crazy energy lately um, I haven't really been able to do any readings they cut down two big 500 year old trees right in front of my complex so uh, it's kinda sad <clears throat> but they're running big machinery, so it kind of sucks. Um, so this is uh, Easy Tarot. So let's use this for 
how you feel about the relationship. Um, get kind of mixed up here. So this will be for the relationship, and I think we got one more card left. Let's use the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart. So this will be for you know no actually I, I want to use that's why I left this for last. I wanted to use the <clears throat> Dorian Virtue, and my throat is getting kind of scratchy, which is odd because I just looked at the bottom of this deck, and it was the um, throat chakra. And as you know, my my throat gets ticklish when, I, when there's something that needs to be said. So this is how you feel about the other. I feel like I'm rambling too. So yeah, I haven't checked to see if you know there's anything going on in astrology, but I definitely feel that there's a heavy energy kind of pulling at my brain. It's not working as well today. And a lot of activity as well. Okay, so this is for the bottom of the deck. We're using Osho Zen for that. The Fool card. Okay, so let's make sure everything is on camera here. The light's okay. All right, so the Fool card. So if you look at the picture, you know, there's this guy who's just really free-spirited, right? And he's walking off the side of a cliff. And um, it's like there, he had no warning systems to tell him not to do it. He just, you know, took this leap of faith and fell into life the way I see it. So I always think of, um, you know, one of those base jumpers when I see this card. Um, you know, so the message is to not be afraid to move forward into a new life. This is somebody who's starting from zero. So... It's a completely new reality for them. And the message is to not worry, just to let go, allow it to be, and uh, trust that you will be guided along the journey. So that is, oh my gosh, you know what, I just realized I pulled two cards for the overall energy, so that's kind of cool, no problem. Um, let's look at the other card. Okay, so this is the Prince of Cups. So this is the Knight of Cups. This is somebody who offers love. Um, they desire to be in a relationship, and so they're pulling out all the stops. They're, you know, being romantic. They're, um, you know, they're showing the best side of themselves. Like if you look at this card, he's got his best armor on, knight in shining armor. Um, beautiful waterfall there, his horse is all looking majestic and stuff. So, yeah, um, so it says, the savior and grail seeker. Every human has known love and affection, felt emotions stirring within them, but it takes a particular kind of person to truly know love. Uh, the kind of love that is tragic and beautiful, the kind written about by bards of old and captured in the finest of poetry, the most passionate of spiritual writings and the, the most well-known tales. This is the love of Lancelot, Romeo, Psyche, and every mystic trending the path to union. This is the yearning for the divine, the beloved, the holy grail. Even upon union, the quest will not be complete. The heart always wants more, always needs to seek and yearn. How sad and lonely it must feel, must be to finally get what you want. Is it better not, or is it not better to always be in a state of yearning? So, you know, what I'm feeling from the message is that the, uh, the overall energy is a desire, a longing, a yearning to be one, to come into union. Um, and... The accompanying card is the fool, to trust, to start this new life, this new journey, um, and not to fear it. But, you know, we've got this yearning and longing accompanied with the zero card. So, strong message not to desire or long for a connection. 
Um, and sometimes the knight of cups is somebody who, you know, enjoys the romance. Um, you know, when it comes to commitments, um, they're not very strong in that area, right? They're all about the show, the putting on the show of the romance and stuff like that. Um, but there's also another message, too, that there's a desire, possibly, to commit. All right, so let's mix it up here. Let's start at the soul. So the masculine got the tribe. Interesting. So this is about, you know, finding your vibe tribe. Um, being in a space where you feel comfortable enough to um, share your emotions, um, but also spiritual beliefs as well. So let's just have a look at the card. Okay, so it says community, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, and knowing your place in the world. So you're learning the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those you don't share. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but like what I'm sensing here is a desire to connect with somebody who is like yourself, um, and that could very well be the feminine. And since the overall energy is a desire to connect, um, you know, in a loving way, then I'd have to say that, you know, at the soul, it feels like the masculine is ready to um, open up and, you know, feel like he's at home. And when you're in that kind of environment, then you want to share more. All right, so what is in the soul for the feminine? Chaos and conflict. So this card, you know, is about chaos happening around you. And, you know, you need to be still um, at peace while the conflict happens. So be in a state of oneness with yourself and going within. So let me just read the little blurb here. Okay, <clears throat> so it says, disarray, being at a cross purpose with another, the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. See, that's exactly how I've been feeling today. It's like chaos, like just so much things going on at one time. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just trying to, um, you know, be at peace with myself while all this goes on. All right, so it says stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. So the incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong conflict. All right, so that's what I said. Surrender, be, go within, allow the conflict and the chaos to happen without actively being involved in it. Be the observer. So kind of, you know, go with the flow. Can you see those okay? All right. So next, let's move on to what do you fear? No, this is what you want. Okay. Just want to make sure I got all the cards. If not, I'll go ahead and pull some more. Okay, so this is, I chose the word fear, so let's run with that. I think this was in the position of what you want, but let's go with fear. So this card talks about social gatherings. Very interesting. We've got a theme happening here. Um, but it's in your fear position. So, you know, maybe the feminine is withdrawing, um, actively withdrawing. So, communing. This is a house of getting out and about and mixing in the world. This is a world of social engagement and entertainment. Okay, so nurturing, socializing parties, um, conferences, meetings, and society. So she fears being involved in, in the chaos, you know, um, maybe she, maybe there's a new start or a desire to start anew, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling is a sense of her withdrawing from that start. So I'm going to pull a clarifier card. Let me just give these a quick shuffle. So what do you mean by this card, please? 
Seven of Cups. Another kind of confusing um, WTF kind of energy here. Um, the Seven of Cups is knowing what you want, not knowing how to get there, or having too many options, and just being confused, right? So Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz needs to follow the yellow brick road uh, home. So she fears... Um, She, you know, because this is also an emotional card, it's water, so she feels, or she fears connecting um, with others, perhaps, um, in a social way. So remember, we're seeing um, a synchronicity happening here, because he's got the tribe, the vibe tribe, which is a desire to, to feel at home with others, and here we got this fear associated with that. So let's move on. Okay, so what is the masculine fear? Ten. Um, so this, um, you know, he's got a bushel of something there. Is it hay? I don't know. But, it, you know, there's a lot of work. This is harvest. Um, a completion is the ten. So he fears it. So it says... This is a house of regeneration. If we do not clear out the old, there will never be a place for the new. This has always been the way, and it will always be. This is a space of creation, life and nature. What is here must be cleared. This is the right time to cut it. So clearing away, doing, um, doing away with and harvest. So you fear the masculine. You fear cutting something away, um, letting go of baggage, I guess. Um, let's pull a clarifier for that. Maybe he fears that the feminine is gone. Cut him away, maybe. Yep, Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is stagnation, boredom, things aren't moving. Um, so yeah, um, maybe he fears that she has cut him away. Because um, there's a sense of him longing, looking out the window, desiring something that he doesn't have. So it's another longing card. All right, so this is how the uh, relationship, I believe. So let's pull that next. Okay, hold on. So what you feel about yourself, the other, and the relationship. The magician. So this is how the feminine feels about the magician. Or I mean about the relationship. It's number one. Um, so we've got the overall energy, which is the Fool card, uh, which is the beginning of the Fool's journey, and so how she feels about the relationship is the next major arcana, which is number one. So this is putting active um, focus and concentration into manifesting what you desire. So this is how she feels about the relationship, so she, it's, it's a very empowering card. Um, she wants to manifest, manifest the next level. Um, so yeah, let's grab a clarifier, okay? The high priest is somebody who, um, is a spiritual leader, and this could also represent divine guidance. We got two masculine energy here of having your crown chakra activated. You can see the light above the magician here, and same thing. So this is actively connecting with source, focusing your power of concentration and ability to manifest on um, I'm almost feeling spirituality but what I'm almost feeling is because this relationship is enlightening her and yeah, she, she feels powerful and she's actively trying to manifest something. So let's see what the rest of the reading says here. So 
so that's how she feels about the relationship. Ah, here's the other card. I don't know why I didn't see that sitting there. Okay, so this is what she wants. I'm usually not this scattered, guys, as you know. I'm, I'm usually quite on with the readings. All right, so um, how does she feel? Oh, no, sorry, this is for her, herself. How do you guys feel about yourself? Let's do that next. Temptation. So this is the Temperance card for the feminine. Or no, actually, it's a number 15, so I think that's the devil. So the devil. You, I mean, you can really just look at the picture and kind of see what's happening here. There's treasure. Um, there's a big heart on this apple. So somebody's taking a bite, and sometimes you think of, you know, Sleeping Beauty with taking a bite of the apple. They fall asleep. This person's sleeping on top of the apple. And it looks like she's trying to protect it. So the, um, the word down here says temptation. So she's being tempted. Um... So this is how she feels about herself. Yeah, so the material world is my playground, but I need to be careful not to be attached to the outcomes. This is a warning to me to watch for excess, to know what's not healthy for me. When this card shows up, it's a sign that I am focused on the material realm and need to be aware of any excess or addictive behaviors, my own or that of another. So she's looking at herself and she's seeing her behaviors um, and how she's trying to control the outcome, right? And she's trying to let go of control as this chaos is, is happening, but she's feeling tempted. So, yeah, I mean, tapping into source instead of focusing on the material world is the best thing to do. Grow from the inside. Now, let's pull a clarifier. So this is the king of earth. So this is somebody who's a provider, who creates this beautiful home. So she's feeling like she has a lot of responsibilities um, she needs to create this environment for her children, for her family, um, but she's feeling tired or tempted, Yeah. so I mean, that means something different for everybody, right? Okay, so how about the masculine stars? You guys both got major arcana, it's interesting. The star card is hope. It is your wish being granted. Um, so it says, I am hopeful and inspired by life right now and everything that is happening. Points to the renewed sense of encouragement. After all the changes I have experienced, or sorry, after all the changes that I have experienced, I'm starting to recognize the hope that comes with new beginnings. So... This new beginning as an overall energy is felt um, by the masculine and he's feeling hopeful about this new start. So I'm almost feeling like he's the knight in shining armor. Wow, what a synchronicity here. So we got the king and the queen. So the way he feels about himself is the queen of pentacles, mother earth. Um, you know, the devil card is more of a masculine energy. So it's interesting how there's a mirroring happening here. So the queen of pentacles is somebody who's sharing, who's giving of themselves. Again, they create a beautiful home, but they share their riches. So the masculine is hopeful and um, in a very giving state in terms of themselves. So how do they feel about the other? So the feminine got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Um, so you receive this card because you feel a strong dynamic pull towards another person. 
In other words, you share chemistry with him or her. This creates an intense, pleasurable sensation that draw you to each other. So the feminine is definitely drawn to the masculine, a desire to connect with him on an emotional level. So again, that's pointing to the Knight of Cups. Okay, so let's pull one card. So power, courage, strength, maybe the solar plexus. Um, this usually represents a blockage. So she's finding the strength or maybe she feels that this chemistry is extremely powerful and she's definitely drawn to the masculine. But she's viewing it for some reason as a temptation and she's afraid of a social interaction. Okay, so for the masculine, how does she, he feel? Release your ex. This time, this, sorry, the time has come to clear your energy. So, this is how he feels about the feminine. Release your ex. Maybe, you know, look at this person. They're, they're sad. You know, they received a letter or a message and it's breaking their heart. Um, so there's a desire to connect, sitting at that window, feeling like things have ended completely, but still feeling hopeful. And the star card is also healing as well. So much home energy here, but so much separation at the same time. One card, King of Fire. So this is somebody who's very powerful, um, they are persuasive, they have, you know, other people are drawn to them, so this is how he sees the feminine as this powerful being who attracts um, people towards him, um, convinces them to help them in certain ways. Um, so it's almost like they're unapproachable. And we see that chemistry there. The feminine's really um, feel, picking up on that for sure. All right, so let's move on. Um, did we forget over here? Okay, yeah, we forgot to look at the relationship message for the masculine. So the Seven of Cups is this card down here. So how he feels about the relationship is feeling like your head is up in the clouds, not knowing which cup to choose. So here we got one with a rainbow. Um, I don't know what that is. Bubbles or something. It's bizarre. And then we got some sparkles and then a blue purple flame, a fire flame. Um, that must be earth and then a dove. I don't know. Whatever one draws your attention. I looked at the rainbow first. Uh, so the rainbow is like a happy ending, right? The treasure at the end of the rainbow. So as as far as he feels about the relationship, there's confusion there, but there's this desire to have a destination that is beautiful and perfect. So again, I'm seeing this feeling of hopefulness. Wow, the King of Pentacles again. So, you know, this is somebody who's financially independent, very successful. They are committed long-term. So there's a desire to be in this home type environment, but he doesn't know how to get there or how to make it a reality. Okay, so... Um, what you want. Let's pull a card for that. What do you want? I think we'll use John Holland, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Oops. Okay, what do you want, feminine? Sacral chakra and the masculine trust. So that's the fool card again. 
but this time we have a feminine being depicted up here it's masculine so he wants to trust take that leap of faith start that new life eight of pentacles represents hard work and effort being put forth in the 3d reality to attain that um, long-term goal so what he wants is to manifest that home life that connection that tribe and to take that you know leap of faith begin again begin new and the feminine got the sacral chakra so this is an emotional blockage right she wants that cleared she yeah there's a lot of confusion there. It's like she wants answers. The Knight of Pentacles is movements forward, taking one step at a time, arriving at that destination. Um, it may have taken a long time to get there, but um, they're the most dependable knight. So what she wants is an end to the journey, to arrive at the destination. Um, and to express her emotions to you know for that chaos to be gone and the final outcome we have the ten of wands very same kind of energy as this right we got the big bushel of wands there and we also have you know same kind of feeling you know You've turned that bushel into a little home. So it's like he's trying to construct something. Um, so this is the feminine's final outcome. So the Ten of Wands is exhaustion. It's been caught in the machine, working day in, day out. Um, and, you know, yeah, just being done, collapsing. Uh, you didn't listen to your body's cues, so um, your body forced you to take a break. But again, the 10 is completion and ending to that. So that's good to know. Because the feminine definitely looks stressed out. The nine of swords, yeah. The nine of swords is staying up at night. Uh, inability to sleep. All you can do is think, think, think. So the two cards together is an end to that exhaustion. Giving too much of yourself. Being trapped in the machine and unable to free right look at that face of that what is that a zebra i don't know zebras aren't brown looks like a cowish kind of thing but the face is exa exhausted you know pe they're they're losing a piece of themselves little bits of themselves is being chipped away okay it's kind of interesting how the, actually this is a i think a giraffe pattern right because over here we got a mama and a baby giraffe with the same pattern on them. So there's a mirroring here. All right, so what is the masculine's final outcome? Chariot. Major Arcana. So this is taking control of your life, moving forward, pursuing those things that you desire, overcoming obstacles, challenges, like it's nothing. And it's being in the vortex. Awesome awesome he takes that leap of faith he falls into what he desires and moves forward with it seven of wands uh, so this is confidence power this is being the king of the hill and being challenged by other people so the chariot is an excellent energy to be in in order to overcome those challenges conquer your fears and whatever else is standing in your way so maybe the feminine is looking at the masculine feeling like you know there's a lot of chemistry there but he's just not putting effort forth and maybe that's what he does yeah okay so let's pull two final cards as a message from the universe so this is Miss and Mermaids by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. 
final messages do you have for Twin Flames this week? Okay, so the feminine got a certain slant of light and mermaid picking lotus blossoms. So I think the slanted light one, that's about awareness, being illuminated, I think. Okay. Are you able to see that all right? Okay. So... From the darkness there emerges illumination, deemed divine, feckless searching terminated by insight, insight most sublime. So I see like major awareness with these two cards together, the high priest and the magician. This is how you feel about the relationship. There's divine guidance, um, illumination. That's how she sees a relationship as awakening her. So from despair and confusion, Right there, what she fears is confusion. Um, erupts another form of sight, lucidity, all resulting from a certain slant of light. So a pensive mermaid lies in her grassy pond waiting for an answer to come to her. Yeah, you're waiting. A grand light shines from above, illuminating her and her surroundings in a moment of divine insight and understanding. Illumination is coming. Darkness and confusion darkness and confusion um, are commonplace in this world but do not worry illumination is coming in a form of a new way of viewing your environment or your situation some call it divine insight others enlightenment either way be prepared for a new perspective a sudden shift in thinking will arise from the uncovering of unknown facts opinions or desires these new points will help you understand where you are and help you to answer some of the questions that yet that have been gnawing at you for some time now. Be prepared though, the illumination may, sorry, the illumination may be subtle and easy to miss. Keep your eyes open and your spirit curious so that you don't miss out on the illumination you have been so long waiting for. Okay, so She's been struggling with a question, sending those messages out. It has to do with the relationship. She feels consumed by the ego um, and the 3D reality. She feels a connection is there, but it's wavering. A lot of confusion, emotional and um, you know, power blockages. And she feels like she's being chipped away. Well, just know this, that an end is near. You know, an end to the, the exhaustion, the burden, and an end to the negative thoughts. And, but you need to be paying attention to see the signs. Uh, but the illumination is coming. So mermaid picking lotus blossoms. I almost want to say she looks really sad. Sorry about that, the camera shut off. All right, so it says, dreams of purest perfection, power to exist in the light. Will I live in the world I imagine or dwell in my own endless night? Or is a sanctuary waiting, destined to be my, be my abode? Will I catch the wild fever of wonderlust and journey down curious roads? Wonderlust, journey, right? No matter which path I will walk down, and remember the, the Seven of Cups is all about choosing um, a path, that's what he wants, to walk down a certain path. Um, but he doesn't know how to get there. No matter which path I will walk down, whatever I find I must pay. However much pain is required of me, my gods know I'm on my way. So lovely golden-haired mermaid sits upright in a pond covered with lily pads. She thoughtfully seeks out and selects a lotus blossom. A contemplative look is on her face. She is on a quest of faith, a quest of spiritual nature. So the meaning is you are seeking spiritual perfection. Wow, again, you guys are, are mirroring each other. It's on, like If you look at the two cards together, the exact same look. Um, you're kind of looking off in the distance in this direction, 
uh, and a desire to be illuminated. Okay, so you're surrounded by, by options, mental material, emotional, and spiritual. Now is the time to focus on your energies and select a path to search for spiritual perfection. Where the heck is that Seven of Cups? Ah, yes, here we go. Um, in terms of a relationship, remember it. You select that cup, select the path. Uh, take your time. Find the direction that is appropriate for you. Experiment with new methods of communing with nature or your higher power through yoga, meditation, or religious study. Find a group who is seeking just as you are and sh who shares your ambitions, the tribe. This is a time to move forward with an open mind and curious heart. Do not prejudge the path others are on. Attend a service with a family member or friend of a different faith. Read spiritual texts that are unfamiliar to you and take the time to experiment and walk into new territories. There you go, that uh, fool card again, taking a leap of faith. You never know where your p new path may lead you. All right, so he hops on his chariot um, and pursues spiritual knowledge, connection, oneness with others, you know, love. All right, so I do hope this helped. Uh, please like, share, comment. I love reading your comments. And subscribe. All right, cheers. Aw, they just cut down two 500-year-old trees. I'm so bummed.